Hallelujah. God is a good God, ain't he? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Ain't he a mighty God? Hallelujah. I still can't find no fault in him. Oh, glory to God. He's good. Come on, glory to God. How many know he's good through it all? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We should get ready to go in prayer. Glory to God to open up our open mic Bible study. Glory to God. Everybody hungry and thirsty. Amen. Glory to God. I'm coming to eat tonight. Glory to God. Oh, Father, we thank you tonight, God, for another service, another open mic Bible study. God, another opportunity, God, to come into your house with thanksgiving into your courts with praise, oh God. And Father, we come tonight with open ears, oh God, that we may hear what the Spirit is saying into the church, oh God. And Father, we know that it's detrimental for our soul, God, to be able to hear your voice, God, hear your word, oh God. And Oh God, apply the word, oh God, and become doers of the word. And oh God, like you showed us on last night, God, we don't want to come to Bible study and learn of you, God, and go home and be forgetful hearers of the word, oh God. Oh, but God, every time we look in the perfect law of liberty, God, Father God, we want to be able to see ourselves, oh God. And Lord, we ask you tonight, God, oh God, through the word to be that mirror, oh God, that will show us, oh God, our iniquities, that will show us our sins, our shortcomings, Lord. Oh God, those things that we do that we are blinded and don't realize or don't see, oh God, that in Jesus, they know small foxes, God. Certain things that we feel, oh God, we just get by. Oh God, but Lord, there's no getting by. God, Lord, open our eyes, oh God, to the small foxes that spoil the vines, God. Oh God, we need your word tonight, oh God. Stretch out in us, Lord. God, we come with open arms, God. We come with an open heart. Oh God, we come ready to receive a word from you, Lord. Oh God, we ask you to bless the Bible study teacher, Lord. Give him the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, God, that when he opens his smile, oh God, he would be like the oracles of God. Oh, let it be that walking epistle, God, in the word of God. Oh, God, like even when we told Isaiah to go down to the chariot, God, and deal with that unique, Lord. Oh, God, he said, ask him a question. Do you understand? He said, how can I perceive it or understand except somebody come and break down the scriptures? Hey, hallelujah. Oh, God, I'm asking you to break down the scriptures, Lord. God, we want greater understanding, God. You said in Proverbs, and all I can is get understanding. Oh, God, we're ready tonight. God, we feel you already. Oh, God, we feel your presence, Lord. Oh, God, we feel your miraculous power. Oh God, we feel your heavenly power, God. Father, we thank you tonight, God, and we forgive us of our sins, Lord. God, we repent, God, asking you to forgive us of every sin that we have sinned against you, Lord. We don't want nothing in our way that, oh God, that would hinder us from receiving a blessing from you, oh God. And Father, we give you all glory, all honor, and all praise in Jesus' name. Come on, everybody say, in Jesus' name. Oh, come on, everybody say, hallelujah. Oh, glory to the Lamb of God. Oh, glory to y'all receive minister Josh. Glory to God. Come on, give him and the Lord a hand of praise as he comes for Bless and assurance. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. I thank God for. Hallelujah, being able to be in this house, amen, and to, hallelujah, be obedient to, hallelujah, coming together as he commanded us in the scriptures. Hallelujah, I thank God for allowing me to be able to teach Bible study this night. I was excited, hallelujah, on today. Yeah. Just uh, from last night, hearing the word go forth from our first lady. And I just thank God, let's give a, a hip hop pray for our first lady. Hallelujah, Jesus. And to our pastor, hallelujah, Pastor Rashad. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. And to everybody in their respectable places. Hallelujah. I, I, it, 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 man, it stirred me up last night. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't want to be a forgetful here. Amen. On today, on yes. tomorrow, on next week, next month, next year, I want to retain everything that God speaks. Hallelujah. Through his, through his people. Amen. God is surely speaking in this hour. And I thank God that we in the house that we can hear the voice of God and be able to apply those things that we hear. Hallelujah. So we don't have to be or leave the same way we came. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Yes. I'm excited about the word. Hallelujah. Thank and you. today we're going to be talking about hallelujah, the heart. Mm. And God been talking to, to us about the heart lately. Yes. And it's so important as believers to protect our hearts. Mm -hmm. And the Lord gave me a topic saying, guarding your heart. Hashtag let the word of God be your watchman. Mm. 
So, you know, there's so many things in this world that can grab our attention. There's so many different things in this world that can latch on to us, amen, and try to go get into our hearts and contaminate us. But, hallelujah, if you have your Bible turned to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Hallelujah. If you let us say amen. amen. And everybody knows that proverb was written by King Solomon, one of the wisest men that was on this earth. Hallelujah, Jesus. And his father was King David, a man after God on the heart. And King David was teaching King Solomon everything he know about this only one true God. Amen his statutes, his, his precepts, his judgments, his commandments. And hallelujah, verse 23 reads, well, let, let's start at um, verse 20. Proverbs verse 20, chapter four. And it reads, my son, attend to my words, mm. incline thy hear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Oh, come on now. Hallelujah. In the midst, in the middle, in the innermost parts of your heart. That's Ooh, where we're supposed to keep the word at. Amen. For he said in verse 22, for they are life unto those that find them. Oh, come on now. Hallelujah. And help to all their flesh. Glory be to God. And verse 23 reads, keep, keep thy heart. Thy heart. With now. all diligence. Right. Hallelujah. For out of it are the issues of life. Right. Hallelujah. And it's so important that the Bible teaches us that we need to keep our heart. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the word keep, hallelujah, means it's an action word, mm -hmm. which is a verb. Glory be to God, which means we got to do something. Hallelujah. The word keep. In the Webster Dictionary means preserve, maintain, such as to watch over and defend. Ooh. Hallelujah, Jesus. To take care of, to tend, such as like keeping a garden. Support, mm. to maintain in good, fitting, or orderly condition. Hallelujah. To continue to maintain, to keep watch. So, King Solomon will begin, begin to say that through the Holy Ghost that we should keep our hearts with our diligence. And the word diligence is a, a strong word showing that we got to put all our heart, mind, soul, will, emotion, all of our being into keeping our heart. Amen. Because in this world, God know that the Bible says that there's the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Glory be to God. So whenever we hear the word and when the word go forth, Satan, seeing us hearing the word, he want to steal that word. He want to take that word, what we hear, so he want to get one inside our hearts. Amen. Right. So he already know if we hear the word, he know that if it get into our heart, it's going to change us. Amen. So. We got to keep watch, glory be to God, over our hearts. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word keep is very important because out in the world, we have the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. It is so easy to get caught up in the things of the world. Hallelujah. That's why I believe King Solomon wrote that with all diligence. Hallelujah. Like First Lady said last night, like we, like we earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly is almost like that digital. You got, to, you got to put some application behind keeping your heart pure, keeping your heart uh, in a place of righteousness. Amen. Because the Bible clearly teaches us as a man think in his what? Heart. So is he. So is he. Wow. So you are a reflection. We are a reflection of what our heart is, what's inside our heart. So what we display is what's inside our heart. So if we walk around with depression, that's inside of our heart. If we walk around with anxiety, that's inside of our heart. Glory be to God. If we walk with holiness, it's inside our heart. So you're going to see 
the, the, the visible manifestation of what's in our heart. Hallelujah. Of what's now. in our heart by what we do. Yes. How we conduct ourselves. Yes. The way that we speak, the way that we handle ourselves, the, yes. way, that we, the way that we carry ourselves, our behavior, our patterns, our, the way that we think. Glory be to God. Ooh, Hallelujah. It's easy to now. understand how a person thinks by, by looking at their actions. Ooh, come, come on now. It's easy to see how a person thinks by looking at how they do things. Amen. They don't even have to tell you what they think about, amen. It's all about what they do. Hallelujah, Jesus. And it's, it's important because the Bible says it's the, out, of, out of the heart flows the issues. Issues. The issues of life. Life. Life on this earth. Life with relationship between our, our family, our brothers and sisters, our family members, our, our, our co-workers, our neighbors, amen. It's, it's so important that we guard our heart. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we got to keep diligent to, to guard our hearts. Mm. Hallelujah, because the enemy want to take what's in our heart. Hallelujah, he want to take that very word that's been sold. Hallelujah, on Sundays, on Tuesdays, glory be to God. Hallelujah, when we be at home, glory be to God, through life affairs. He want to try to take the word. That's right. Hallelujah. But we got to we got a lot of word to go on the inside. Amen. To take root. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. If you can't turn to Luke chapter 6, verse 45. Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Luke chapter 6, verse 45. Hallelujah. We're talking about the heart of the day, amen. amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Y'all don't want to be like the Pharisees. I praise the Lord with my lips, but my heart is far from that, amen. Y'all don't want to be found like that, amen. Mm -hmm. Well, our first lady was preaching on deceiving. We can deceive ourselves. Mm. Hallelujah. The heart is desperately wicked, amen. And they take the word of God to change it, to mold it, Creating you a clean heart, new heart. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's see your heart a manifest. Luke chapter 6, verse 45. <laughs> a good man out of, the, out of the good treasure of his mind. Heart. heart. Hey. His what? Heart. His heart. <laughs> Bring him forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his what? Heart. Heart. Bringing forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth, the, his mouth speaking. Mm. So Jesus was saying that to be, up, to be able to understand what a, a person is at, you can oh. tell them from the way that they handle themselves, the way that That's they, right. what treasure they have in their heart, amen. If a person talks about money all the time, you know that they love money, amen. If, if a person talks about drinking all the time, you know they love drinking or smoking, that's what they talk about the most. Whatever you love the most, that's what you're gonna talk about the most, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, because the Bible says, where your treasure is, that will your heart be also, amen. Hallelujah. Can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Yeah, so microphone, saying, microphone. If I talk about what I used to be more than who I am, nah, why? Church, why? I'm still. I, my heart is still there. My heart is still out there. Even though I might be tangibly in the, in the church building, but my heart is still in that place that I want to still be there. What if you testify? No, I ain't talking about testify. No, no, no. I'm just talking about all when you. Get when you talk about more of what I used to do. Right. I'm sitting up all day on, I'm talking for a long about jiggle on. Every time you talk to me, I'm on the phone to my jiggle on. That's what my heart still is. Right. But all my conversation is still all, all, always about jiggle on. Right. But I testify in here that I'm free from it, though. Right. That's right. And I can be like, man, I, I'm, I used to make like a uh, hundred thousand dollars every year. And that's how, man, you remember I had that job of making a hundred thousand, every time you hear me, I talk about a hundred thousand dollars. What my heart at is with money, amen. So my my speech gonna show where my heart is at, amen. Mm. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Turn to Matthew chapter 15. Jesus. Matthew 15, verse 7 through 8. I'm reminded what Brother Chris said that when the Lord, when he was sitting out there on the chair that the Lord said he needed a heart operation. Ooh, Hallelujah. Don't we all? Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus need a heart operation. I'm, I'm not going to say I don't need it. I need, I need him to take everything out of me. Amen. Everything that don't bear his image, his likeness, everything that don't line up to what his words say, I want him to take it out of me. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to be detoxed. Hallelujah. I want to be detoxed. Hallelujah, Jesus. Matthew chapter 15, verse, hallelujah, 7. He, he, Jesus began to start speaking to the Pharisees, amen. Because they had, the, they had in those days, the Torah and, or, or um, the books of Moses, amen. And they was known to well, walk around with long robes and uh, phylacteries, which, which are headbands with a box that can, can contain scriptures. Yeah. And uh, templates, which are uh, bands that's wrapped around their arms with a scripture inside of the arm. And they were known to, to walk around with the longest, uh, to lead the longest templates, the, the appear that they are righteous or appear that they are living in a way that God is respect, like they want to they want to look that on the outwardly that there was holy that was that there was keeping God commandment Amen, amen. Oh. Hallelujah But Jesus had a had a had an uh, answer for it. He said, "Ye hypocrites, where did Isaiah I prophesied of you saying this people draw not unto me with their mouth? Uh -uh. Hallelujah and honor me with their lips. Hallelujah saying all the good things to me. Yeah. Hallelujah." blessing me, but he said, but their heart is far from me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah, their heart. Again, Jesus identified the issue with the heart. He said, they praise me with their lips, but their hearts, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They don't want to deal with me. If I was in the room next to them, they don't want to care about me. And they, you know how they did with our Lord Jesus. They wanted to kill him. Can't stand him because he, he preached against tradition. He preached against the outward and, and dealt with the heart of the matter. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse 18 and 19. Hallelujah. But those things proceed. I'm in the same chapter. Um, Matthew chapter 15, verse 18 through 20. But those things which proceed out of the mouth coming forth from the heart. And they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with or wash your hand devout, defile is not a man. And Jesus began to tell his disciples and tell the people because in that day, that time, and that tradition, yes. they, were, they were holding on to the customs of men. There was more, more excited, more zealous to keep the hand washing. Well, let me, before I even eat my hamburger, I need to wash my hand. Before I get, let me, let me wash my dish before I put this, this, um, bag of potato chips on this plate. So they were more focused on the tradition of the elders versus what the word of God said. But Jesus began to say, you know what? That the tradition of men don't mean nothing. Mm. Hallelujah. It's not the abundance of your heart. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So Jesus dealt with the heart of the matter. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew 6 and 21 said, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we are going to look at some examples. Hallelujah. Of people who did not guard the hearts. And some who did. So um, 
the first person that the, the Lord brought to my attention that um, that didn't guard her heart was Eve mm -hmm. in the garden. In Genesis chapter verse uh, chapter three verse one through seven, so God gave them a commandment and told them that they should, they can freely eat of any tree in the garden itself for the tree that's in the midst of the garden. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the commandment was given to Adam and to his wife. Amen. But you have the 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 slewful. You have Satan hearing ill husband. Hearing the commandment that God spoke to his people, amen. And came and spoke to Eve, amen. It began to twist God's word. And let's turn to verse uh, chapter uh, 3 of Genesis. Hallelujah. God gave Adam and Eve a commandment to subdue the earth, amen, to be fruitful and multiply. Hallelujah, Jesus. And also told him, don't, don't touch the, the two trees. Hallelujah. You can touch anything else. Any, anything else in the, in the earth you can touch, but those two trees don't touch. Hallelujah. Verse 1 out of Genesis 3 reads, Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So first thing he wanted Eve to do is question the very thing that God has spoken. Oh, you in the house. Hallelujah. Now? Question the very thing that God told us to get rid of. Oh, you in the house. Did God Come really told you to get rid of that? Come on now. Do you sure? Is it, do you sure? It don't say it in the Bible that it's a sin. Mm. How is it? How is that a sin when the Bible says it's not a sin? Mm. And try to twist it. Amen. Try to cunningly twist the scriptures. Oh, Hallelujah. Get rid of Facebook. Get rid of TikTok, Instagram. Those things, those weights that so easily beset us. Right. Mm. Hallelujah. Here, day in and day out, hear the Lord speak saying we spend more time on different, different social media sites than in his word. Come on now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey. Spending more time doing other things, leisure things. Hallelujah. Do I really have to exercise? Do I really have to take my vitamin C pill? Do I really have to do I really have to pray like a like a uh -oh. Do I have to always do I got to do that? That was saying whispering in. Do, do you do you really have to do that? Uh-oh. Come on, you know, you know you can miss one day. It's all right. Come on. Do you really say you have to do it? That's right. So he began to twist it. Man, look, look for Charlie, Charlie for it in the scripture. And then you try to look in the scripture, well, the Bible don't say it. Instagram is sin. Oh. But is Instagram affecting your life? Is it, is it affecting your heart? Is it affecting the issues that flow from your heart? Is it is it always changing your Ooh. mind and put you in a, 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 a bad mindset? Amen. Come on is now. Is it changing the way that you that you feel or gravitate towards? Amen. Yes. It's easy. Hallelujah to allow the, the enemy to speak those words. Did the Lord really say that? Come on now. Uh-oh. And the woman said it to the, the servant. See, th and that's what she did wrong, had a communication with her. And the woman said it to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. So she remembered the word. Yeah. She remembered what was spoken to her. She just didn't do it. Come on. But she now. just didn't do it. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh. She just didn't do it. And the serpent, hallelujah, after that communication with the enemy, to having a full blown conversation. Yes. And the enemy said to the to the to Eve, and the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. So now he said that what God told you was already a lie. God is. No, God, God lied to you. God, God didn't mean what he said. He was just, he was just playing with you. He already know that if you do this, he already know that you, you gonna, he gonna be, you gonna be all the, trying to twist it. For look, look what he said. For God don't know that in the day ye eat thereof, your eyes shall be open, 
and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. So look at what she said. Look at what the serpent said. That you, your eyes will be open. You're going to be just like God. But God already made Adam and Eve in his image and his likeness. So you so you are already you already a child of God. So why should I listen to what Satan was telling me from the beginning? Amen. Come on. And then the woman saw that the look, they had no type of temptation until after the enemy spoke to her. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for the food, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, uh -oh. and that it was pleasant to the eye, uh-oh, I can't be. Mm -hmm. Things that, that look good ain't good, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And a tree to be desired to make one wise. Mm. She then took of the fruit the world, the world, and did eat. And gave them also to her husband with her, and he did eat. Amen. So in those three verses, in those in that verse right there, Satan you the lust of the eye, mm. the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Mm. And that's what in this word is today: the lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And the world want to make you feel as though if you don't have all those things, hallelujah, that you don't see on TV, glory be to God. If you don't have a whole bank account full of money, hallelujah, that you're not blessed, glory be to God. But the devil is alive. We are blessed. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. So Eve failed to guard her heart. Mm. Eve failed to guard her heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This last one, I'm going to open up a, a question. Um, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because mm -mm -mm. there's a lot of people that don't live. The world don't look, don't, don't, the world love its own. Yeah. They're going to love their own. They're going to endorse their own. They're going to promote their own. They're going to glorify everything that's not a God. From young Jeezy to anybody from, I don't know, the new the new people, new rappers these days, but everyone that that's, that's saying, walking, walking around with a cross chain and saying they love God, ain't, ain't, ain't Bible man, hallelujah Jesus, ain't walking the holiness, amen, hallelujah Jesus. And then they got the endurance to say, I'm the enemy, that I want to I wanna, I wanna thank God. But you live in contrary to what his word says. In a conversation, a lot of times you can read people, you know, like I can get up and say, oh, I thank the Lord for healing me of such and such and such. But then in the same conversation, but I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Mm -hmm. So the same automatically hear you saying, okay, Why? I know that sickness really got her down. Why? Let me attack her oh. a little bit harder than that. Right. Now, and she's going to back off from God because it really hurt her. And does she really trust him? I pray for him for healing me, but I need to worship, worship him for who if he's truly a healer. Mm. Worship him for who he is, so that let God know. I believe that he can heal me. Woo! Anything. Right now, I'm praising him for healing me of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, my mindset knows that he healed me. Anything. Glory. 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 We praise him for him. Thank you, Jesus. You see, it's for me, but we got to get that mindset Ooh. where he can do It's a process. Yeah, right. Thank you, thank you, take it off. Mm -hmm. 
chapter 4 amen um, if he does say amen hallelujah hallelujah 2 Timothy chapter 4 he can do anything, anything. come on now hallelujah hallelujah Jesus Jesus Woo. Mm -mm -mm. okay 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 10 yes and Paul wrote Timothy and he said, for Demas have forsaken me, have a love this present world, and then departed to Thessalonica, Caesarea to Galatia, Titus to Domitha. But the person who I'm identifying is uh, Demas. And Demas departed from Paul, used to go on mission trips with Paul, uh, and laboring in the field with Paul, but the Paul said that Demas, because he loved the present world, mm. forsook him, left, left, the, left the, the church, left the, the, the teachings, hallelujah, of what, what he was taught, and went back into the world, amen, mm. hallelujah, Jesus, and he didn't guard his heart. So it's easy for a person to be in Christ and go to church year in and year out, hallelujah, and not guard his heart and be tempted by the very thing that he once was used to being tied with, amen. For James said, hallelujah, James chapter four and four. Mm-hmm. James chapter 4 and 4 reads, Ye adulterers mm -hmm. and adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Come on now. Whosoever therefore would be a friend, Come on now. hallelujah, he said a friend of the world mm -hmm. is an enemy of God. So the man is for such the cross. Mm. Jesus. For such the cross. Went back to Thessal Thessalonica because Thessalonica was a city that a wealth, mm. prosperity, had all the all the lavish things. Mm. It's almost like LA or, or New York or Atlanta, the limelight, living the live life and living, they they so called living their they best life. But hallelujah, yeah. the man the man just went back to that thing. Amen. He went he forsook the word and went back to Thessalonica. So it's easy for us to draw back if we're not guarding our hearts. Right. So I want to pose a question. And I want to ask the question. What are some things that affect the heart? What are, what are some things that affect the heart? Hurt. Being hurt. The things you see, or the way people treat you, Ooh, or that's right, or just just you going on a job and you going on a job with a good spirit, expecting things to work out a certain way, and everybody on that job is just talking this way, that way, and then your whole day is you feel you feel like your whole day is messed up, but if you know Jesus Christ. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. It's gonna be okay no matter what. Yeah. It's just just life issues. Yeah. 
issues of life. That's right. Hallelujah. I was going to say emotions. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great answers. Great. I'm talking about great answers. Emotions. They're, they're the main ones that y'all said too. Jesus. Disappointments. Yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah, when things don't go our way. Yeah. Right. That's so true. I would say um, out of mm. Got our heart mm. bigger than God himself. Yeah. Ooh, that's I a good one. Idols. Easy. I will. I will. <laughs> yeah. Emotion. What we hear, what we hear around. Hallelujah. Jesus. Disappointment. I say uncertainty. People mm. being uncertain. Mm. About I don't know. Um, you know, just Ooh. have an uncertain, unsure. It's unstable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. And we'll say, uh, sin. <laughs> you know why? Because the Bible says, because see, <laughs> we, we, we won't say sin, because you know what the Bible says? Through the deceitfulness of sin, yeah. the heart is hardened. Yeah. People realize you sinning, the more you sin and you think you're getting away from you feeling good and sinning. When I realize you make your heart harder than the rock. The more you sin, your heart is getting harder and harder. And the harder your heart is, the harder it comes to the word. Yeah. I mean, you build your heart, you turn your own heart into a piece of stone. Don't even realize it's steady and sin. Mm, it's deceitful. Yeah. 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 It's deceitful sin. Make you think that's it the ain't sin, but it is. All the, all the other ones are, are, are follow around that, but that's the main thing is, is when when you sin, it build a callus around your heart, mm. and you know how callus is. You know when you pick up something heavy or you lift weights and your head get callus and it get rough and get tough and, and now like the, the soft skin now is rock hard. Now you rub it when you try to rub somebody's face, they, they you rip the skin off. Right. <laughs> Great example. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's what sin do. Sin caused a callus to be created on our heart. Woo! So we become numb. So when the word of God come, imagine that the word got to not all right. that Just callus. got it. Just but if you can constantly keep sinning, the more the thicker the callus get. Jesus. It to a point that. Jesus, to a point that reprobate. Mm. And that's a, that's a scary sight. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. So sin, the thing that we hear, the thing that we see, the thing that we listen to. Oh. Mine would be even communication. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's good. Great answer. Yeah, I'm talking folks. about great answer. Uh, and that, that's the truth, cause the thing that the thing that we be around the most, mm -hmm. what we what we hear constantly. What what are we constantly hearing? Are we hearing the word of God more than what we hear or what the word the world is saying? That that we ain't gonna be so no one, or are we, we listen to the lies of the enemy saying that we always gonna be sick, or we always gonna be poor, or we we we, we, we ain't gonna never come up. Are we listen to what the world says? Why you why you stay in church twenty four seven? But we don't be in church twenty four seven. Hallelujah, Jesus. So it's it's like like Sister Dana said, evil communication, and the Bible said evil communication corrupt what good man. Hallelujah. You can be talk good, but if you dwell and you stay in a place where they ain't talking holy, yes. Hallelujah. They ain't talking righteousness. If they, if they ain't talking about what's, what's lovely, what's of a good report, I don't need, I need to dismiss myself from that, amen? Because anything that's not a faith builder is a faith destroyer. Anything that's not a faith builder is a faith destroyer. That's right. Destroyer and Satan trying to attack every single word that come across this pulpit. So, so you can't retain it. He don't want you to retain it. So what the enemy, he don't care if we come to church. That's right. He don't care if we hear the word. Right. But he care when we be a doer. And retain That's it. That's when he afraid. He, he more afraid of us being a doer of the word than just hearing the word. Amen. So he understand that if we do the word, the word going to begin to start being, being planted in our hearts. 
and that root buds start growing in our heart to a point that when that root grow and that tree grow, glory be to God, you will see the fruit of it. Hallelujah. You will see the manifestation of it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Be, by being a doer. So when we hear the word, glory be to God, we just can't hear it. And man, that's a great word, first lady preach. Man, mm. Pastor showed up preaching last Sunday. Man, Sister Evangelist Jackets showed up te testifying and mother or oh, everybody, but what are, are, we need to we need to earnestly, hallelujah, take heed to what we hear and apply those things. Yeah. Apply those things so it can get on our heart. Cause the more that we do it, it's gonna become it's second, second nature. That's right. It's gonna become part of who we are. That's we right. can't yeah. we're gonna find ourselves can't, can't help but to do it. Amen. I remember there was a time I didn't even come to Bible study when I first came to uh, Second Chance. I'm talking about I came, I used to come on Sundays. <laughs> and then Sundays, then some Tuesdays. Mm. And then over a period of time, hearing the word and, and, and seeing our leaders, seeing, our, and seeing the example, glory be to God, hallelujah, and, and seeing that it, it puts stability in us. Amen. When, you, when God put and raised up leaders in place, so we can see examples, amen. Mm. So we can see it until a point that now I'm doing Monday, I'm going Sunday, Tuesday. Now I'm, I'm finding myself a Wednesday going to Bible study, amen. And then just by applying what what we hear, applying what we what, what's being taught to us. Mm. Like the Bible said, don't forsake Ooh. yourself together. I don't know what some is. So we don't for, we don't supposed to say forsake the assembly. That's right. So when the saints get together, ain't no telling God might heal today. Mm. I knew walking in, in, into the threshold, ain't no telling that God is, is healing the body, working out things behind the scenes, just out of obedience. Yeah. Just out of obedience. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. So the things that we hear, the things that we see, our environments play a major part. Hallelujah, of, of trying to destroy what our walk with Christ and destroy the word that's being preached to yeah. you. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. And I was, um, just as you was, you know, ministering and talking, teaching, it came to me about uh, disobedience. Mm. affect the heart. Yes. You know, because a lot of times, you know, when you, you hear the word, right. and, and, you know, when you, you look at the the one that will be obedient versus the one that's disobedient, you see what it's doing. Right. It, it can destroy the whole body by being disobedient. But when we become obedient to what God is saying yes. and who he's saying it through, right. you know, if we just take heed and do what God words say, it will lead us down that path of righteousness. Right. Or if we be disobedient, it's going to lead us down the road of destruction. Right. So it can destroy the heart. And the more we disobey, right. the more our hearts get hardened. That's right. And then the more we just we get to a place where we don't even, the word don't even affect us anymore. Right. Wow. You know, instead of it affecting us, we'll try to put it on somebody else so it'll affect Ooh. others instead of it doing what it needs to do with us. For because us. our heart has been hardened. Right. And it, it, it just can't touch it no more. That's right. Jesus. That's right. Jesus. I just want to say this, another thing is pride. Mm. You know, sometimes it sometimes it's better to just humble yourself when it yeah. seems like somebody may be belittling you. Right. It's just wow. Like, uh, humble yourself instead of responding. That's to right. You. And, and because I had a situation like that the other day where this lady just sent a message back to me and the student came back in and she just said what she said out loud in front of the whole class. Mm. And the students know the form of Miss Lord. And so one of my students said, Miss Lawrence, you gonna let them try you like that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do nothing like that. That's maybe something you don't deserve. Ooh! Oh, wow. 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 Everybody just looked at me like, and hey, you supposed to come out of here like this. Yeah. You know, because oh, some of them have, have actually told me, I'm like, oh, you don't like it. No, you're not saying that. I said, something just always do. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Another thing, um, like um, Sister Long was saying about um, emotions. 
And that's why, like you say, the, the devil don't care. He, he ain't trying to fight you from hearing the word. Yeah, you come on to church, and, and you hear the word. He's going to let you shout and, and run and do all that. But before you leave here, he's going to get you in your emotions. He's going he to use something. See, that's why I say, watch your hearts. And that's what a lot of people do when they come to church, but they ain't got no guard over their heart. So they come to church, and they easily offended on something. Somebody walked by, you know, they spoke, but the people didn't see them. So now you in church, you in your feelings, you upset. So that's how the devil, look, is messing folks up, sitting right in church, they self-sabotaging themselves, wow. coming right in church, hearing all the word, but can't retain it. Come on, by the time they get to the door, it's like, it's as if they never even came to church. Wow. Jesus. They sit right in the house of God, hear the word, but let the emotions run rapid in the church, and you got to realize that, look, he's going to keep using your feelings every time yeah. to take the word from you. So you got to realize, look, stop falling for the same old devices. The Bible says, God will not have us ignorant of Satan devices. Right. But look, but like you're saying, if we're sitting here and distracted or whatever the case may be, come on, we're forgetful hearers because, look, there's no way in his kingdom that the word that God went for, the way his presence and his anointing come, and by the time we get in the parking lot, we back in our flesh again. Come on. Uh, we have something's going wrong while we're in the house under the operating table. Something's going wrong. Something's going wrong. We got to get to a place where, like you said tonight, we got to watch our heart. Look, make sure that when we hear the word, that yes. we take it out. Yes. Don't leave the word in the atmosphere. Take it home with you. Woo! Glory to God. The devil, you, he's going to keep using stuff. And every individual knows what the devil uses against him. Yeah. You got to realize he wants you upset in church. He wants you in your distractions and all this stuff to get you frustrated. That's how he's going to steal the word from you. Yeah. And I was reading the same thing today. That's crazy. You're talking about that. I was reading in, in Luke. I think eight where it says the word, the sword, the word is the, the seed is the word of God. And the Bible says they come to church, they hear the message. Oh, it's in the word. They hear the message, but then Satan comes and steals the word right out of their hearts to where they can't get saved or delivered. I'm literally reading that today. I mean, come on, church. <laughs> we, got, we just got to wake up. Glory to God. Mm. They, how, how, can, how can he steal the word? And then God starts showing me all this stuff, the distractions, all the things that you talking about, not going your heart. That's another thing. Not going your heart, distractions, emotions, in your feelings, and mind on everything else about what God is speaking to us about. Right. And then come on, we have a good word. We shout out in here, but then you go out there. What was the service about? Now you go back to last night, forgive for hearing. Right. Mm. Right. So we just got to pay attention and really guard our hearts. Make sure you hear the word, make sure you take it out of here. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And that's his that's his whole MO. Is that as soon as we walk out the church, he wanna steal that very word Hallelujah. that come. Amen. Mm. Jesus. Come on now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Things that we see affect us. Yeah. Pornography affect us. Those things, people live an ungodly lives, drinking, all that stuff. Things that we see. And when I was a child, I, I seen those things. I, I was in an environment that I had access to that thing. And, and imagine at the age of five or six seeing that, seeing like, uh, pornography. Right. You, you, you are messed up for life. Mm. Uh, until you get delivered, amen? Yes. You got to be careful what you put before your eyes. You gotta be, be careful what you put, what you allow to enter into your ears, amen. That's you gotta right. be, be, you gotta be careful because it affects your heart, it affects That's your right. spirit, amen. That's right. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Job thirty-one and one said, Job said this. He said, "I made a covenant with my eyes. Why then shall I think upon a man?" So sometimes you gotta make a covenant with yourself. Sometimes you gotta put yourself on a company. I'm not gonna, that's sort of place I'm not gonna even go no more. Uh -oh, uh -oh. That's sort of thing, so in TV shows, I'm not gonna even watch no more. Because uh -oh, uh -oh. nowadays, there's so many, so many things on TV, it's like soft porn. Glory be to God. It, it's defiling. It's defiling. People wearing skimpy stuff. Mm. And it, 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 it affects. Yeah. It, it affects your spirit, man. That's right. It's detrimental. It's so vexing. It's detrimental, saints. Oh, have mercy. Satan is at war with us for our heart. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't, he doesn't want the work. He doesn't want our heart to receive the word of God. He has no problem with us hearing the word. Woo! But once the word gets into our hearts, 
He know it would bring about a change. Right. Hallelujah, Jesus. He come to steal the word, word that you hear. Kill your faith and destroy your walk with Jesus. That, that's why it is so important for us to allow the word of God to be hid in our hearts. Amen. Mm. He said, that word have a head of my heart so I'm not, not sin against him. So us retaining the word, us keeping the word, us allowing the word Hallelujah, the word of God to be our watchman. And a, what a watchman, a watchman is, is a person that keep watch. Yeah. Hallelujah, for a thing that is contrary, thing that come and try to destroy. Hallelujah, how God set up a, a, our pastor as a watchman over the house. So even we not, we are supposed to allow the word to be a watchman in our lives, even when our pastor is not around. That's Amen. right. That's so right. When, when our pastor is not around and we see our friends smoking a cigarette, smoking or drinking, hallelujah, the word going to come up and say, touch not, taste not, handle not the unclean thing. So that word going to be our watchman and jump in the forefront and say, hey, you know what? I don't, you don't need to be in this environment. You don't need to be in this environment. You need to depart. So you you hear the word, you be like, okay, Lord, I'm gonna do it. Mm. That's allowing the word to be your watchman. Mm. Amen. And, and it's so important to have the Holy Ghost. Right. Because the Holy Ghost is gonna bring everything back to your remembrance that's been spoken. Hallelujah. Every single thing that's been said, right. He's gonna bring it back. Amen. So not only do you need the word of God to guard your heart, but you need the Holy Ghost as well. Hallelujah, to, to, to be the keeper, to bring those things back to our yeah, members. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on now. So when, when we go through different things in our life, hallelujah, we get a lot of word that pop up and say, you know, I'm, I'm built for this. I'm built tough for this. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, God did it before. This is only confirmation from last time. Amen. So if he did it before last time, he's going to do it again. So those words that we hear, we retain it that end when we go through trials or situations or tests in our life, amen. I believe it's gonna it's gonna pop up. Mm. So we won't get discouraged. When, when, when the enemy come and try to take uh a plant sickness in, in our body and, and put thoughts in our mind saying you're not gonna be healed. Hallelujah. We we need to regurgitate the word and say by his spot. I'm already healed. Amen. We got to regurgitate the word. We got to throw it back up and speak it back out to him. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalms 119 and 911 says, What withal shall a young man cleanse his way Woo! by taking heed thereto according to thy word? He said, With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wonder from thy commandment. That word have a head in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And that's Psalms 119.11. That word have a head in my heart so I might not sin against thee. So what are we hiding in our hearts today, saints? Mm. Are we hiding, hiding the word or are we hiding the things of the world? Mm. Are we hiding the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life? Are we, are we holding on to materialistic things? Are we holding on to things that, hallelujah, outweigh the word? Yeah. What are we putting before our face constantly? Come on what now. What are we constantly looking at? What are we constantly hearing? Because the thing, the more that we hear, the thing that we hear and we constantly hear is like repeating. That's right. And once it's being repeated, it gets into our spirit. That's right. And that's why in, in the world they use advertising, advertising, throwing throwing advertising scenes. On, on, on TV, the, you, you probably wouldn't even think about going to Popeye's Chicken. But uh, keep watching Popeye commercial right. pop up. If, if then you're going to want to go to Popeye's and say, you know what, I'm going to give me an eight piece and, and two biscuits. Right? Right. <laughs> and and that's, that's because of the repetition. Ooh. It's the repetition. And that's why it's so important for us to, to stay in the Word, amen. To stay, hallelujah, in the Word. Hallelujah. Every chance. Woo! Not saying that we got to read it like I said 24 7, but like throughout the day, maybe a scripture, two scriptures here and there, but like always have that word in front of you so it can it can go inside. Amen. Come on now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. And the best, I'm a, and one best example of the best person who guarded their heart was G our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm. When he was in 
when he got tempted in the wilderness, when he went on a 40 day fast and he was tempting of the devil, amen. And if y'all got your Bible, I'll uh, turn to Matthew 4, hallelujah, verse uh, 1 through 11. And the Lord is the perfect example of how to guard your heart. Because the enemy comes. Whether he had came or he's plotting. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. Um, Y'all can say amen. 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 Then Jesus, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards a hunger. Y'all don't know no 40 day fast unless the Lord instructs. <laughs> and when the tempter came to him, he said, If that be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, uh -oh. but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Oh, First attack saying you say came against Jesus. Jesus used the word. Strike one. <laughs> then the devil taking him up into the holy city and set of him on the pinnacle of the temple. And he said unto him, If that be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written. He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee. Oh, let me read, read it. He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not till the Lord thy God. Oh, come on so now. Satan uses scripture. That's in, that's in Psalm 91. Mm. Satan uses scriptures <laughs> to try to make you sin against God. Wow. Twisting the scriptures to try to make you go contrary to what God has already spoken. That's why you got to stay in the word. Because if you, if you don't stay in the word, you would never know that. Right. Hallelujah, you would never know that. You would never know not, not to test, taste, and handle that if you don't stay in the word. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Again, the devil taketh him up into a sin and high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, All these things will I give thee, hallelujah, if thou would fall down and worship me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, hallelujah, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only oh, come on now. shall thy serve. Hallelujah, Jesus. Then the devil leaving him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So Satan used the same thing that he used in these days, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Come on but now. every time when the Satan popped his head up to Jesus, Jesus attacked him with the word. Mm. Jesus guarded his heart with the word. With Amen. The word. He allowed, he allowed that word to be his buckler, to be his shield, to be his to be his his guard. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. To be his watchman. Come on. Now. Hallelujah. To be his watchman. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Um, I wanted to make a comment. Nowadays, you got pastors mm. up in the pulpit telling the people wrong. Things they taking the scripture and they twisting it. Oh yeah. One of my children called me Saturday and they were saying, you know, I was talking and it's all right, it's all right. Uh, to have a little taste of wine every now and again. Uh, -oh. uh be not if drunk with wine, you know, in excess. Right. Taking that scripture out. Right. And my, I got hot. I did. <laughs> I got. I got heated. He groaned, but the old me. Well, the grandma pocketbook and went to his house and whooped him in front of his wife and child. I don't care about you being grown. Mm. But I, I said, 
Wilson, let me get off the phone. I, I had to go. I got off the phone and I took it straight to God. Yes. I took it straight to God in prayer. But you got people, pastors, leaders that are deceiving the people. That's right. Twisting the word of God. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, what is that? You've ever seen me take a drink? When have you ever seen your grandfather, your grandmother, your pa your former pastors? Wow. People. When have you ever Woo! seen them, them take a drink? The example that you had before you when you was being raised, that's what you go by. Mm. That's what that's your pattern to you know holiness. You know what you got all this charismatic stuff and Oh yeah, and, 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 get, and get caught up in it. That's and, right. And I, 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 I see a lot of preachers of you that drink, drink a little wine for stuff and say, "Man, the devil is a lie." If I was an alcoholic, why should I? Why would I go back to the thing that I once, like first letter said, destroy? But there's people rebuilding those things that once were destroyed. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Ungodly, ungodly. Jesus. Oh, I got two and more strong. And too, they use that too. By, by uh, what Paul said, drink a little wine for the stomach's sake. Yeah. But you know you ain't drinking no wine no, for no stomach's sake. At all. Come on now. And, and casual, casual drink. It's just, it's just sickening. I just, I just drink because my friend drinking. Nah. <laughs> nah. And let me explain something. Now, back. In times of old, when people had issues in their stomach, mm -hmm. certain conditions, they would drink the wine and it was like a healing mm -hmm. for them. But that ain't that ain't the case. That's right. You just drinking just to, you know to get a buzz. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not no, no, no. That's no, no. Don't do that. Don't. Right. That's wrong. But that's what people did in times of old. But that's not for us. He said we got to be holy. Mm. We got to be holy. We can't, you can't touch it. Right. Because it's a doorway, it's a gateway that's going to lead to something else. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And the devil yeah. done contaminated it. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. That, that's what they call wine spirits. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. But if it's in your heart, right. it's gonna flow out. Like like how you were saying, even with the um they praise God with their mouth or their right. hearts. And I was thinking about like Peter. You know, oh oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do but come on, Peter, that one in your heart. Right. And wine these days and wine back in the day are not the same. That's thing. right, yeah, that's and right. People really, really need yeah. to be taught that. Yeah. Wine of uh, that day was crushed up and all that stuff yeah. Yeah. is so different it's from today's now. wine. Yeah. People don't even know that. They just want to take it and like everybody say, run me. Yeah. Wine back in the day is nothing like the wine of the day. And people really need to know that. They really need to know that. And that's why you got master manipulators that know how to go on the scripture and, and pinpoint and target and bullshit like yeah. those kind of scriptures to feed to the flock because look, they in sin, so they're gonna teach the people it's okay. Look, a pastor doing it, it's okay for y'all to do it. So he can break it down. But see, at the end of the day, they having fun and pleasure now, but there's a record in day that's gonna come. Glory to God, and people don't realize that, man. You're making people too for a child of hell, the Bible says, and that's why you gotta tell people the truth, whether they like it or not. But hey, but when you got a leader or whoever it is preaching and they in sin, they're gonna give you what's in them. That way he said, out of the heart. See, out of the heart. See, you know, whatever your mouth saying is in your heart. It don't matter what kind of clergy shirt I put on. Come I, you know, on. I, 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 I say this is my title. We'll be wolf this and that. But what's in your heart Coming is going to manifest to the people. Yeah. You can try to hide it for a while, but what's in you going to come out you. Yeah. It's going to come out you after a while. Yeah. You know, that's why I tell people, look, just be real with yourself. You know, you drink and ask God, give me deliverance. I need help. But don't fool yourself and play like it's okay because some master manipulator, some warlock in behind the pulpit and said it's okay for you to do it. Cause glory to God, you will you sell your own soul. Because ain't nothing wrong with drinking. Think about it, when you drunk, like I use it, it's simple analogy. Look, when I was drunk, I, I, my, my, uh, my perspective changed. Like, you 
heard me say before, the, the ugliest thing on the planet became Miss America. Right. I mean, stuff that, that, that I wouldn't do, period, when I was sober. Right. Oh, get on the alcohol, I was on one. Right. Everything, everything was green like this. Right. Yeah. You lose the red light, the cautions, oh, you lose all that. Morals gone. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, no, you can't drink and, 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 and uh, yeah. no. See, the Bible says it's thing like an apple anyway, it's going to bite you in the end. Right. <laughs> and then like mother said you be don't be taught this right. and then you st you just start tearing down the things that you don't talk and building up the things that you tore down right. Jesus right. evil communication yeah you come from behind the pulpit right yeah teaching folks that right and then, then, and then you can sit right in the hole and folks that evil communications right because they heart ain't where, where the word is yet right and, they, and, and, and come on and they know if you See, you got to realize, a, a, a devil, a demon, know where you weak at. Right. Whether it's drinking, fornication, love, a yeah. devil know that. And a right. devil can pinpoint that, discern that. Like I tell you when I was in the streets, I tell you like women, look, you can discern. They can have great titles, midwives, nurses, all that, have all that. But they, they was, they, when it came to here, yeah. they had no street sense. You ran a few games, oh, they give me all they check. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have to go along? They give you everything they got. That's right. Come on, you, you got to have some sense, man. You got to know if you in something, get the knowledge of what you in. Yeah. And live by it. Yeah. Guard it, put it in your heart. Because yeah. you don't need it. Because yeah. now spirits is controlling the folks. Right. Not God. No, the spirits controlling the folks. Spirits will make you make choices that you never should have made. That's right. A spirit will make you do it. Yeah. A poor spirit will make you do it. A lusty will make you do it. A lesbian spirit will make you do it. Hey, they will make choices for you. Yeah. Loneliness will make choices for you. Yeah. 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 Lonely demon for real. Yeah. 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 It'll do yeah. it. Yeah. That's absolutely true. That's why it's so important to guard your heart. Right. Guard your heart from the, the things of this world, the, the, the cares of this life. Hallelujah, Jesus. First John chapter um, 2, verse 15 through 17. Um, if y'all just say amen, First uh, John chapter two, verse fifteen through seventeen. Mm. First John chapter two, verse fifteen through seventeen, and verse fifteen reads, "Love not the world." Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life mm. is not of the Father, but is of the world. Hallelujah. And look, out of all that, verse 17 reads, and the world passes away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth, not just hear it, mm -hmm. but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I, I got one more question to ask. So what are some ways of guarding our heart? From the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. What are what are some ways that we can protect our heart from being contaminated? And and how can we escape those things? And I'll I'll go forward with that. What are some things? Retain the word. Yeah. Retain the word. Yeah. Do away with evil communication. And, and like Job did, shun instantly mm. all the appearances of evil. Ooh. Things that come, you gotta shun it off top. They gotta talk yeah, to the hand. Yeah. Cause that wasn't gonna be messing up like of evil to shun the devil. Look, talk to the hand. God already spoke to me. Look, I, I ain't gonna, yeah. yeah. Your heart gotta be sold on what God said. Jeez. And then when your heart is sold on what God said, it don't no matter how good they make it sound Woo. together. If you the soul of what God said, it's easy for you to shun evil communication. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff come. People say it, they offer, they make things sound real great. Right. Like she was saying, how you trying to make it sound real great about the court with the medicine like that. Yeah. Oh, they had it. I'm talking about, hey, they had it. I'm talking about talk out smoothly. Yeah. 
Come on, I'm going to have to talk about school now. Bro, he ain't get out of school. He ain't, we coming up with something else. Yeah, he, he, he ain't doing that. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, they, they tried to put me on the mama said, no, nah, I'm not putting my baby on no medicine because he got energy. Right. Man, they'll right. make, they make a guinea pig out of you. Right. And you be right here a zombie. Come on, take their whole childhood from them. Yeah. They on pills. Yeah. Nah, they're going to make stuff sound real late. Right. Mm. You ain't girl enough to know that word. Yeah. And that's so true, because I, I, the, the day, something had, something had happened today, and then I went home, I was like, okay, well, maybe, and then the, the Holy Ghost stood, uh-uh, uh-uh, modesty is the way, because, you know, sometimes you be like, okay, well, you just get a little, okay, you know, they young, or, you know, but uh-uh, God said, uh-uh. When you get that chance, you better continue. Because sometimes it ain't been spoke. It ain't that seed ain't been. Hallelujah. So I said, no, nah, I don't feel bad. I, I, I spoke that word. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I spoke it. I'm not finna come and agree. I'm not finna come agreement with it. Hallelujah. Because I ain't in church. Now I want to come agreement with it. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is stand up. Uh-uh. You did a good deed. When you put that seed, hallelujah. Because it, it's going to grow, hallelujah. Come on now. I ain't coming to agreement with you. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So y'all know that. Don't come look. When God tell you to speak something, hallelujah, it don't matter if it's family. It don't matter if it's, I'm talking about when God tell you to speak. Because sometimes you can, you can feel it. You can feel it. Lord, if they just only knew. If they really knew the importance of it. Because sometimes they just don't know. And you just have to, look, put that seed, then somebody come and water it. Hallelujah. How many of folks' souls at stake? Right. People's souls at stake. Young kids, they souls at stake. Yeah. Hallelujah. Like now, you have to teach, you have to teach your children now. Look, ain't no boy got no business kissing no boy. Because right. why? Right. They see it on TV so much. Right. So it's familiar to them, but who, but who gonna be the parent? Right. Hallelujah. Who gonna teach them the way? Right. Hallelujah. Ain't gonna let no TV teach my child. I'm gonna teach them the way. Hallelujah, and then these young girl, they seeing all this stuff on Instagram, hallelujah, it's being taught to them, but who gonna teach them, look, you, hey, you ain't got to dress like that, right. you right. got to teach them, right. amen, right. so don't never feel bad, I said, devil, you a liar, that's <laughs> for real, Man. yeah, you a liar now, well, another way, kind of and me personally, what I do is I, I pray against that, you know, try, try to really yeah. keep, it, keep it away from my heart, you know, because uh, I remember it was like a month Jesus. ago. I back watching the video literally like three or four days ago when Pastor had uh, a prayer come off and he was saying, I would myself like something like God with no power in my mind, mm. make the decisions for me. That's right. Like the spirit mm. and control you to have to do things that right. you normally don't do. Right. And he was like, just shake it off, you know, pray against you, you know. He was telling me, you know, God, you know, this for a reason to use you. How do you and so after that, you know, like literally right after that, that night actually, it started happening. I started to feel things that the old me would do, you know, familiar to trying to come around, but I started praying against it, shaking mm. it off. And it was working. Like, I was myself, my mind was clear, and it's still working today, and I'm thankful for it. So, yeah, that's just one of the things I do is pray against the rebuke. Rebuke it. Yeah. Rebuke it. That's right. Because that's what Jesus was doing. He was rebuking Satan. And then a lot of people try to ignore the situation instead of praying on. You can't do that. You can't ignore the devil or spirit that's going against you. You just can't wow. I ignore it. I forget about it. Come on. No, you yeah. got to pray the demon off now. You got to pray the spirit off. You just can't ignore it. You just go with it. If I know it, it's going to be gone. Right. No. Yeah. Not when it comes to the devil. You know, out of sight, out of mind when it comes to the devil. Yeah. Sometimes people just want to take the time to pray. You got to pray. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's one, that's one that's one of the main attributes of a Christian. Prayer. Yeah. Come on, that's our foundation. Well, that's the answer. You church don't know, that's what, that church is known for prayer. Mm -hmm. yes. Taught us to pray. We yeah. pray. Always pray, not faint. Yeah. Pray get something done quicker than anything else. Right. Yeah. Cause what if Jesus wanted to pray? Right. When, yeah, not he had to keep look. Uh, -uh I got yeah. Flesh, yeah, flesh, flesh would have rose up if yeah. you yeah. But if you just ignored it, mm. ignore it. 
flesh ain't happy. Uh, I prayed to his will was crushed. Hallelujah. Jesus. Mm. Anybody else? Guard your heart. I think there's spiritual warfare in the hole. Yeah. I, I done learned dealing with a lot of Christian people. A lot of people don't really I'm know about spiritual warfare. They don't even know how to fight the real good fight the faith. The faith that you saying last night. Mm. They get the, they, it's like their mentality. Like the pastor saying, when you, when, you, when you jiggle on folks, it don't take you, when you in the world, it don't take, you have to be around people a long time to, to figure out what they can get. Oh. Uh, so like, you can the word of God, they, they're not really rooted in Christ. Oh. It's, it's easy because do you make every decision in the light of God's word? Right. Or do you freestyle and shoot from the hill and do what you feel in your yeah. heart? Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. When your heart is say the, you, yeah. <laughs> the devil know when you shoot from the hill. Yeah. When your heart ain't guarded, it, you, 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 you almost you're open prey. Yeah. You really open prey. You, 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 you really got your door open. Come saying, come on in. Right. But you sitting on the couch, but you got to come in. Right. Your heart is not guarded. I'm telling you something. I feel this it. ain't weird. But when you in the, when you in the streets, man. Like you said, the devil, he don't give some of that that you just, you know, that's just what we did. But, man, we used to literally go to churches, I'm telling them, go to churches for a round of autographs. They had my cousins from L.A. down here, they had cribs, and they, though they had money, they had game. Literally, oh, run circles in the church and, and, and get the church with me. Mm -hmm. Church women doing some of everything. I mean, all that, how you supposed to be saved? You ain't wow. trying to win us. Right. You, you over here, you know, you over here saying. Right. I mean, just going straight through the, I mean, just going straight through the church. Right now, come on, when you were sinner, you saw that weakness. It's supposed to be something different about wow. you. You know what it is, but you know it's not a church. I mean, you, 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 you yeah. Like that, yeah. Like that. Man, look, guard your heart. Right. Don't let those no, no, look. That like they said last night. Men come in unaware. Mm -hmm. Creeping in unaware. Yeah. Yeah. They, they're creeping in and women will creep in unaware in the church. Yeah. Playing like they say, they won't be one without doing all that, whispering all in your ear and saying this and, and saying that. They, they got some people got motives. You got to understand right. the motive and see the motive. Right. That's what we tell you. You got to be. You got to get delivered from you. Yeah. You got to get delivered from your weakness because the yeah. devil he knows our weakness. And he and look. You plot on every time. Yeah. He patient. Yeah, he patient. Okay, we're patient. Yeah, yeah, he'll just wait guard, you out. Guard your heart and, and pay attention to red flags. He'll wait you out. Pay attention to red flags. Guard your heart. Pay attention to red flags. It don't matter who the red flag is coming from. Pay attention to red flags. Yes, Lord. Yeah. That, that, that'll save you from a lifetime of misery. Yes, Lord. And pink flags. And mm. pink flags. And burgundy. And burgundy. Uh, <laughs> like, all flags. Blue, too? Oh, no. Yeah. Yellow? Uh, Green? Every flag. Oh, come on now. In a flag. <laughs> If it's a flag. <laughs> Amen. Oh, that was good. And the last verse on y'all don't have to turn. Matthew 5 and 8. Blessed are the pure in your heart, for they shall see God. So let us with all diligence guard our hearts. Keep our hearts, for out of it are the, are the issues of life. Amen. So hopefully I pray that. I, I said anything that was edifying and, and that builds y'all up real. and that continue to press yeah. on and continue to always allow the word of God to, to be your shield. Amen. Back into the hands of our pastor. Amen. 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 Lord, no. Come on, clap your hands. Let me thank God for the word. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To the tree of the mother, it's, it's going to be it's, it's going to be somebody from the past. I don't know who. It's a guy. I don't know who he used to talk to with one of y'all, but he's going to come back some kind of way and he's going to try to talk to the opposite of the one who he was talking to. Mm. He's going to be on something. I don't know what mm. that he's going to be on, but I don't know. God just literally spoke that to me like that. Somebody, I don't know when, I don't know where, but tell me, well, if, where, when he come back, he used to talk to one of y'all, but he's going to try to talk to the opposite one like that. But he's going to be on something. Don't give him the, don't even give him a split three seconds of nothing of your time. It's a full blown trick of the devil. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 
Amen. How many know God knows just what we need? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. How many thank God for the word? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. How many know God is good? How many thank God for the word? Amen. Glory to God. Just, 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 clap your hands for the word. Amen. Glory to God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Amen. Come on, for this business. Come on back to church Sunday. Watch this. Remember, let's watch. Let's, let's really watch. Hey, Amen. We're going to ask you better. Come on, let's stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the word. Lord, let me know that it's going to be a watchman for our heart. Lord, help us, Lord, to open up our heart, Lord. Not only be hearers, but doers. Lord, help us to retain what we don't learn in the name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, we ask you, Lord, as we leave this place, Lord, let your angels be kept around us. Lord, cover us in your blood in the name of Jesus. Keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to continue to strengthen the mothers. Lord, strengthen the pastor. Lord, strengthen them in his body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tell somebody you love them. Amen. I love y'all. Love y'all. Awesome. Awesome. Right. About preach night, bro. Yeah.